I get quite a few people thinking that I just absolutely hate steel products and I have no good reason to hate them or despise them or not use them or whatever. But um, this is actually my cutoff saw, my personal cutoff saw here. This is what I use for automower installations, for uh, yeah, cutting apart scrap vehicles, cutting rebar, you name it. Uh, it takes a 14-inch uh, cutoff wheel. It's gas-powered, of course. It's an old TS-420. So I've been using this thing for quite a while. And um, honestly, it wouldn't matter what brand it is, whether it was steel, whether it was Husqvarna, whether it was the new uh, the new Echo gas-powered cutoff saw. The problem is they've all got some weight to them. The one from Echo is kind of light, but they've all got some weight to them. And now that I'm using an, an enclosed vehicle for a lot of my service work, you know, if I take this thing, then I've got to take a can of gas with me. And, you know, that's like having that in the back of a vehicle. So my answer to eliminating a lot of these problems was to make a bit of an upgrade. So here's what I upgraded to. I went with the Husqvarna K535i, the battery-powered cutoff saw, 9-inch diamond blade comes with it. And this thing makes a world of difference on your back at the end of the day. If you're cutting sidewalks and you're cutting driveways and you're cutting other stuff, you know, and you have to be bent over holding that, that cutoff saw for any amount of time, that sucker gets heavy. But these battery-powered ones, they're so much lighter than the gas-powered ones, but this Husqvarna one, it, it's a slim design. It's well-balanced. The way they have the battery positioned in there really helps the gyroscopics of the saw and makes it even more maneuverable because it really balances out having that cutting head out there. So... Now I can just carry a battery and this little cutoff saw will actually fit in a little tote and I don't have to worry about it rolling all around. I don't have to worry about strapping it down or anything like that. And it just makes life a lot easier. So a little bit of information about the Husqvarna K535i that we're using now. As I said, it comes along with that 9-inch diamond blade. And because it's a 500 series product from Husqvarna, that means it's a professional grade product. So you have to use they're a professional line of batteries. That would be the BLI 200, BLI 300, BLI 200X. If you have one of the old BLI 100s, you could use that. Uh, you could use one of the backpack batteries. You cannot use the BLI 20 or the new BLI 30. So to simplify that, you can only use the gray batteries in here. You cannot use the orange batteries in here. Now, the nice thing about the way this designed, it's designed where the battery goes is that battery angles back and that helps to really counter counterbalance this thing because you have the weight of the, the cutting head out here your electric motor right here and it gives a nice balance to it because you're adding weight at about the same spot you have the weight out here you know on the opposite side of your your cutting motor so that's where all the maneuverability comes in and I'll show you here if we turn it to the side it has got a very slim design so it makes this thing just really easy to get into tight spots and uh, and carry around. And if you got to use it for several hours a day, uh, it's way more comfortable to use than a gas-powered one. And you can see you can see daylight down through there, and you have the uh, vents right here. So when you put your battery in, that's where your cooling air circulates through the battery, so you don't have to worry about it overheating or anything. You have the uh, basic simple intuitive keypad here you got your power button you got your save mode if there's an error you get the little triangle here that lights up and you got the indicator light next to each of those buttons to tell you um, you know when the power is on or if you're in save mode over here as you probably figured because it is a cutoff saw you have your water hook up you have a valve up top there to shut your water off and up here you have a nice little button to push down to hold your, or um, I should say lock your cutoff wheel. So when you go to change wheels, um, the head doesn't spin. Now, even though this is battery powered, it still does have a drive belt in there, just like the gas powered ones. And that's a maintenance part there. Um, if you're not tearing them up on the gas powered ones, and you're not worried about tearing one up on uh, one of the battery powered ones. It's pretty simple. It works the same way. It's got instant torque. As soon as you squeeze that trigger, uh, that wheel is up and spinning, and it's at full power. 
But the nice part about it is, you know, if you've ever ran a gas powered cutoff saw, you leave off the trigger and that thing just hums and hums and the wheels is spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. And you got to wait for it to stop. If you need to change a wheel. These things, because they have an electric brake on them, it can go from fully wound out to a dead stop within 3.1 seconds. That's a pretty fast turnaround time there. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty basic concept, you know, lightweight, it's durable. It's uh, all the stuff you would get with a gas powered one, just in a smaller package and easy, easier to handle, easier to haul, less weight. Uh, again, you know, the big benefit of this for me is I don't have to carry a gas can with me with my um, two stroke fuel and of course the the weight so this was definitely a, an easy choice to make the upgrade to this and not have to carry around the big heavy steel ts420 anymore now another little feature that the k535i cutoff saw has um since it comes from husqvarna and you know their reputation with chainsaws and that's what they do i uh, guess a couple of the chainsaw guys must have had their hands in on this one too because back here at the back they put the little hoop back here, flips right out, so you can attach a rope to your cutoff saw, and that's if you want to lower it down into a ditch or a manhole or something like that. Makes it real easy to clip on there and uh, and lower it down rather than throwing it or dropping it or um, whatever other method you might have been using before. Uh, so that's a handy little feature there, just something we wanted to point out. So here's a little recap of some of the features and benefits. And if you're looking for a new cutoff saw, this is why you'd want to look at the Husqvarna K535i. Uh, we'll start out with the fact that it's lightweight. It only weighs in at 7.7 .7 pounds without the battery in it. It's got an efficient brushless motor. That's a Husqvarna in-house design there. It's got the rope eyelet, as we showed you in the video. The electric blade brake, so it stops the blade almost instantly compared to the uh, rundown on a gas-powered cutoff saw. It's quieter than a gas-powered saws. No exhaust fumes and also no hot engine parts. It's got the intuitive keypad, very simple to use. A 3-inch cutting depth, which is a little bit more than the battery-powered version that Steel has out. Uh, it can be used indoors because you have no exhaust fumes. So you got to cut a concrete floor indoors. You know, it's going to be way easier to use one of them than it will be to use the gas powered unit. You can use it for wet or dry cutting. It has excellent balance. It's belt driven, no air filter or carburetor to mess with. And it's easy to transport because there's no gas. Now we also have to point out this little note down below here. Husqvarna rates the output power of the K535i at 1.63 horsepower that's a good bit of power coming from something this small this lightweight this maneuverable uh you know you take the power of a gas powered unit like the steel ts420 that i showed you i've been using there and you go with the power to weight weight ratio on that sucker compared to this thing and this is just a world of difference here yeah it only has a nine inch cutoff wheel it has a three inch cut cutting depth but there's not any times really that I need more than that unless I'm cutting through some thick stone or I'm trying to cut up some, you know, heavy duty scrap metal of some sort. Um, you know, a lot of us, we use the bigger cutoff saws with the bigger wheels on them because we're cutting stuff that wears the wheels down so fast. We need the bigger wheel so we can get more time out of it before we have to change the wheels. If you're using a diamond blade on here, the diamond blade is going to hold up for quite a while cutting through concrete and asphalt and and that kind of stuff so it's a pretty fair trade now that we told you all those benefits of the k535i and the features that it has and everything now's the part where you're probably expecting to see this baby in action right well we kind of went a little overboard on the time here so this is why you need to subscribe to our channel and this is why you need to keep checking back because 
we are going to show you this in action. We might even have a little bit of head-to-head -head competition between it and uh, another brand, just to give you some kind of idea of how it compares. But at any rate, we will definitely have it in action one way or another in another upcoming video. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, keep checking back, and thank you for watching.